Peter B. replies, Shetima for saying that leadership goes beyond having two pairs of shoes and a wristwatch. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The presidential candidate for the Labour Party, Peter Grigby, has replied Kashim Shetima after alleging that Peter B. is glamorizing poverty, especially when he claims to have one pair of shoes and a wristwatch. According to B, he is a very comfortable man and has never claimed to be poor, though he does not flaunt it around and he does not think there is a need for it. Recall that the All-Progressive Congress Vice Presidential Candidate Kashim Shetima said that the Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Gregory B, is glamorizing poverty by saying he have two pairs of shoes and wristwatch, adding that leadership goes beyond that. How in a statement released by Peter B. while reacting said, I have never claimed to be a poor man. I have never said it anywhere. I have n always said that I am a comfortable man anywhere on the surface of the globe. Because they say if you have one million dollars, you're a millionaire, and I have that. So I'm a millionaire anywhere in the world. Well, um, to me, you the all progressive Congress people, and most especially the opposition parties, first of all, these people cannot come out to market themselves. I mean, I find it very, very, should I say, uh, uh, what's it called, or serious, that you are supposed to be marketing yourself. You're supposed to come out and tell Nigeria what you and your principal are going to do, but rather you come out and you are attacking another candidate or you're trying to demarcate another candidate. To me, no be so than the duan. You're practicing polity of bitterness and no be so. Mm -hmm. No be so than they do this thing. When Peter B said he has one pair of shoe on the wristwatch, he was trying to portray that he is content, just like he's saying now that he is comfortable. Contentment. Do you understand? I've said it before. He's trying to tell people that he's actually content with what he has. Huh. All right. Nothing, but nothing tangible has come out of the mouth of this so-called Shetima. He's only listening to people and trying to attack them for what they see. Exactly. If you're coming out, I've said it severally. If you're coming out, not even as a, uh, what's it called, campaign spokesperson, as a presidential candidate, you do not have any business coming out to say what this one said or what that one said. What you would say, how to convince people, how to sell yourself to people should be your sole concern. How to make sure you sell yourself best to these people. I am telling you. He's only listening to people and try to attack them for what they say. What a person is. This is someone who wants to be the president of this country. He has absolutely nothing to offer and cannot engage in intellectual decisions, discussions. Anyway, if Buhari can become the president of Nigeria, I don't think there is a living thing in Nigeria, even sheep that cannot be president. Okay. They said the people, the All Progressive Congress is planning to bequeath to Nigerians, God forbid. If Nigerians in Thurin Shetima and his boss, despite all the glaring hand resting on the wall, the gods are not to blame, even they cry out blood when the chips are down, heaven shall be silent. And they tell you, it is actually very wrong, it is going to be extremely wrong that as a, should I say that as a, um, as a nation, we do not do the right thing. And tomorrow, we now start coming out to cry. It's just like before elections now, just like I'm screaming my, screaming my lungs out. I'm saying we should vote wisely. I'm saying we should not vote along lines of sentiment. We should vote equity, fairness, and justice. We should, we should vote marriage. We should vote uh, competency, credibility, and capability. And we closed our ears and go and pick you know, uh, what's the God? Somebody who is not competent, somebody who is not credible and capable. And tomorrow, as the person enters, we start having issues. And we start going back and start asking God, please now, save us. God, go look us with one I say, these people, you know, no serious at all, at all. Why? Because at the end of the day, if we get serious, we go pick person, we'll be saying, if we pick, eh, him go make this country better for me and you. Huh. 
make we no vote along sentiment that line. So the hand the handwriting on the wall is glaring. I've said it before that you you should not even support any presidential candidate unless you have listened to that presidential candidate several times and you have also watched that person. You have listened and you have watched that person. Okay. What a word. God is not a friend to fool. Hey, hey, when will Nigerian become God's friend? I don't understand. What of wisdom? I like that you have nailed it. Fools are just too much in Nigeria. What of fun did we commit under the sun to see yourself with this set of humans? If, my dear, I am just saying we have an opportunity to correct this. We have an, op an opportunity. <laughs> the earlier we realize that we have an opportunity to correct it, the better. All hope is not really lost. Though Shetima really knows what he's doing, what has Peter be raised to watch got to do with leadership qualities? Somebody should lecture him that abuse of personality of political campaigns is amounting to irresponsibility. Go out there and tell people what you can do. Exactly my point. Even Tinubu is not left out of abusing political candidates like Funke Akindeli. Mm. All right. Peter be all correct, sir. Emilonia before political position. Okay. Someone like Tenebu that could sell off two filling stations in London to finance Nadako was certainly a multi millionaire dollars before becoming a governor. Peter B should not open his mouth to talk to this man who does not even know his right, his left or right, not even to dress. When I don't come, you know, I don't start. <laughs> He doesn't need to. The man is busy exposing how irrational he is. So let him continue. One of these days, he's going to say out the wicked hidden agenda to Nigeria. This is why I'm telling you people, the most important thing to do now is to listen to these people. Watch them speak. Hear them. Listen to them. A lot will be said out of ignorance. Then go release a lot of things. Eh? You know, it's the way they talk. Hmm? Before you know, they don't talk with him. Mm -hmm. Understand within the MRE, no, no, we no one talk. No worry, eh? No worry, no problem. Just make sure hmm, that you listen to these people very well, even though you already have a favorite among them. Listen to each of them, it will help you to even make better choices. Come to the free elections. Tenable so realized the mistake he made by selecting Shitim as his running mate. Oh. He actually said he's, he picked Shetima because Shetima is actually very competent. So I am here asking, wow, bravo. You, you don't mean it. He, he picked Shetima because Shetima is very competent. <laughs> All right, we'll see about that soon. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come you next time, enjoy the rest of the day.